Hey, how's it going? David here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Today you're going to learn the song Smooth Operator by Sade. This is from her debut record, 1984's Diamond Life. And I have the song arranged uh, for just one guitar, but I'm going to add some of the cool bass lines. And the song just has a really cool groove to it. Uh, it's in standard A440 tuning, so go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. The song's moderately paced, about 120 beats per minute. It's in 4-4 four, four time. We're mainly going to be in the key of D minor. Now there's a couple different versions of the song. In the original version, um, the uncut version, she comes in over the groove uh, with a spoken word kind of thing. He's laughing with another girl and playing with another heart. She does a spoken word through the groove progression. Then she comes in with the first verse, the diamond life lover boy. Um, in the radio shortened version, they cut out that whole sp spoken word part and they just hop right in with the first verse. So I'm going to show you both parts and this way you could play what you want to. And there's only a handful of chords so I think you can get this one pretty quick. Now if you're having some trouble with the bar chords that I'm playing in the song or maybe you're having some challenges changing from bar chords to open chords, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box, right? And I'll send you a killer free video lesson and ebook. The video lesson is not on YouTube, it's extended play and it's my best bar chord playing and changing tips and it's loaded with exercises and it'll really get your bar chord playing and changing blasted to the next level. And in the ebook I pair it with has more chord charts in it more lessons more exercises it'll really help you throughout your guitar journey it's a fabulous one-two punch video lesson and ebook and i'll send it to you for free just click below so the song starts with the intro the drums start then the groove comes in right so we're going to incorporate the bass line into the guitar uh, chords for this part and this part's important because they also they also play a piece of this in the pre-chorus so let me play you the how we're going to do the intro and then i'll go back and explain it i'll just play it through a couple times for brevity's sake sound like this Keep repeating that right and, and the spoken word comes in okay so let me show you what we're doing I'm kind of adding the bass line to get this that's the kind of groove right that a kind of bass line right that descending line so we're playing a D minor chord and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave the second, third, and fourth fingers down and grab, instead of the fifth fret on the A string, grab the fourth fret on the A string. And that's kind of like a, a D minor over D flat, right? First, just hit the low notes on the chord, like just the A string or the A and the D, it doesn't have to be exact. And then hit the whole chord, then open A string, then fourth fret on the A string. And then hit this those other three strings while you're holding that D minor that piece of the D minor. Right? Then open A again, so you get this bouncing kind of line. And then you're gonna hit the third open A, third fret of the A string, and then you're gonna play this chord twice. And that is kind of like a D minor chord with a C in the bass. But that's a little hard to finger like that, so this is a little bit easier to finger it this way. You're going to hit that twice. So, so far you have this slow. And then the last three notes, play that little bass line. So here's the whole thing slow. And then they repeat it and repeat it. So that goes through the whole spoken word part. And then it changes in the verse when she comes in Diamond Life Lover Boy. Please subscribe to the channel. You know, that really helps me to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell, right? Because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. And also leave a comment for me below. Let me know how you like this lesson. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like this video, please smash the like button, right? Give it a thumbs up. Share it. And thank you so much for your support. So there's three verses in the song. They're basically all the same. And it's the same progression that uh, they're going to do in the chorus also. So let me play you the progression. We're going to use some rhythmic chucking to add that rhythmic element to the groove too. It'll sound like this. Here we go. Okay, so the chords. It's a D minor 7th to an A minor 7th, to a G minor 7th, and then back to A minor 7th. All right, now how we're getting that groove, uh, let me go over the, the, the pattern, the strum pattern. On the D minor 7th, down, and then a down chuck. Now that chucking 
So he's kind of all in that pick hand. I'm coming down with the side of the palm of my hand and I'm hitting the strings with that. I'm kind of throwing my hand into the strings, but at the same time, the pick is hitting the strings. See, if I slow it down, right? And you get that sound. Okay, that's really important. So it's like down and then DC, down shot. So D minor seven, down, down shot, then go to your A minor seven, because we ended that on a down, up, down, up, down chuck. Up, down, up. Straight eight, that's one, and a, uh, and a down chuck. So the two together. Okay, now we ended that on a down, so when you go to the G minor seventh again, up, up, chuck. Right? So the three of them. And then back to the A minor seventh, again we ended on a down, up, down, and then a down, up. Chuck, so it's like, uh, okay, so all four slow. All right, we speed it up a little bit, okay, and you don't want to rush that and just work it up slow, and you really want to kind of keep that groove going. That's so important in this song, that groove. And that's all the verses. So you do that same progression, verse one, Diamond Life, Lover Boy, verse two, uh, Coast to Coast, LA to Chicago. And in verse three, she repeats the Coast to Coast, LA to Chicago, Western Mail, right? So the verses go into this pre-chorus, no place for beginners or sensitive hearts. Let me play you the pre-chorus and listen after I go through the pre-chorus progression twice, because then it goes back to the groove like in, we did for the intro. And that'll sound like this. Um, so if I do the last time on the verse progression. Chorus. So the pre-chorus, you're going to basically go right out of the verse into pre-chorus, which is G minor 7th, no place for A minor 7th, beginners, or sensitive hearts is D minor 7th, but then you go back into the intro progression with a little bass line, right? And it repeats that. G minor 7th, one sentiment, is left to chance. G minor 7th again, right? Same thing. Um, now the third and last time, G minor 7, no place to be ending, A minor 7, and then you put a stop in there, and then D minor, or D minor 7, and then you kind of hit it and kill it, and then they play this line, right, that little bass line, just 5th fret, low E string, 3rd fret, A, 5th fret, A, and then I just do a little slide, use a smooth operator into the chorus. The strumming for the pre-chorus. On the G minor 7 and A minor 7, we do like down, down, up, up, down, up, is the feel. Eighth note, one and two and three and four, and two and two and three and four. And, but we gotta put a chuck in there, right? So down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So that second down and then the, then the last down, you do the chucking. Down, down, chuck, up, up, down, chuck, up. Okay, that's a nice little chucking rhythmic groove. I just stay on that G minor 7 and do it. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So you do that on the G minor 7. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. A minor 7, same strum. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Then do the intro progression we did. Right? Then you repeat it. Again, same exact thing. Now this last time, G minor seventh with the strum, A minor seventh with the strum. But that last hit, I do a down up and then I kill it, and then hit D minor once, or you can hit D minor seven once, and then you do this bass line, and then I slide. 
into the chorus. And it's real easy because the chorus is the same progression as the verses. It's just that D minor 7th, A minor 7th, G minor 7th, A minor 7th, right? In that same groove. After the chorus, there's verse two, and then there's an interlude section, right? And that's right before the sax solo. If you're on the guitar, one guitar, you're probably gonna leave the interlude out. I'll, I'll show you the chords and I'll, I'll kind of play what they're doing uh, so you can hear it if you wanna put it in. Um, and that kind of builds into the sax solo. And the sax solo is played right over the chorus chords. Um, and then there's verse three and then chorus out, the song ends. Um, so that interlude section, it's kind of all based off Again, a D minor seventh chord, um, a G minor seventh, and an A minor seventh. But he's the guitar kind of plays him up high, and it's hard to reach on the acoustic, or at least on this acoustic, there's no cutaway. It's hard to get up there. So I'll just play him down here, but I'll just kind of do a strum. Two measures on the D minor seventh, one on the G minor seventh, one on the A minor seventh. And the guitar is kind of buried a little bit on this part. The bass takes over the melody and builds it into the sax solo. Kind of more of a 16th note feel. <laughs> Smooth Operator by Sade. Really fun one to play on solo acoustic guitar. Hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content and ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box because I'll send you a free video lesson and ebook on my essential bar chord playing and changing exercises, tips. It'll really help you along in your guitar journey. Thanks so much for watching over the years and years. So appreciate that. Thank you for your support. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer content lessons coming. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson.